everyone, Wendy here at the Denver Museum of Miniatures, Dolls, and Toys, and today we are going to talk teddy bears. So I'm here with Junior, who's the third largest bear in our collections. The other, other two are so big, I can't move by myself. And then we've got Baby Bear. Now both these bears were handmade in England and um, donated to the museum. Um, they've got... Um, Glass eyes and embroidered noses, nice little leather pads here on their feet and paws. Um, they also have growlers, so if you pick them up, um, they make this sort of like grrr noise. Um, it also sounds like if you've ever had like one of those little boxes that when you tip it, it moves. It's also kind of a little like that. And I didn't know that the first time I helped move them and it scared me to death. Um, so teddy bears, we start to see 1902, they kind of come up um, from the Stife Company in England and from another American company, and they're named after Teddy Roosevelt. Um, there's a great story of he was hunting and he saw um, baby bears and he wasn't going to kill the baby bears. It's still a little dark, um, but, you know, hunting at that time was very different than hunting now, but that his great kindness towards these baby bears made him a hero in this uh, comic artist's eyes and the legend spread. So I just have a few bears to look at today. We're gonna actually look at this great Stife bear. Ooh. Now, um, the Stife bears and Junior that you see back there, they're jointed, which means that they move, the arms and legs move. They've got these great faces, real, like when you think teddy bear, this is kind of what you think. Um, we actually use a teddy bear like this on our new sign, um, but they're also kind of hard. So they would be stuffed with things like straw or um, like a very stiff, hard cotton um, or sometimes sawdust. And so those are like very heavy. So they're not, this isn't like a, oh, I'm gonna squeeze this tight teddy bear. It's really a bit more substantial than that. Um, like if you gave a sibling a good thwack with it, you're definitely getting time out. Um, but at the same time, this is a very well-loved bear um, that just was donated by longtime Colorado teddy bear collector, J.M. Fay. Um, I love that it's got these replacement eyes. Can you see that they're buttons? Um, and this pad has been replaced, but this one hasn't. We actually talked with a conservator about what we should do, because look at that bottom paw. All that hard cotton stuffing is popping out, so we're going to have to do something about that, and there's just a little bit of felt left here. Um, and you can see he's, like, real floppy um, compared to that last bear we looked at. He's really been put through his paces, gone on some adventures. What a great bear. Now the last bear I'm gonna show was like the toy when I was a kid. Um, it was so technologically advanced and super cool. Maybe you know, maybe you don't, Teddy Ruxpin. So Teddy Ruxpin was a toy of the future. And there were dolls like this, so it's not like it was really that much of a departure. But you can see you can Velcro off his his vest here. I think Velcro, come on. Um, and then, let's see, I can't even remember how to open this. Um, oh, here you go. You can open it, and you can put in, it had special tapes. Um, this one says, all about bears. And... Um, you can make it, him go louder or quieter um, and his mouth would move so it would look like he was telling you a story. Um, the other fun thing to do that, you know, the rebellious kids um, that I was friends with when I was young would do is they would put not official Teddy Ruxpin tapes in. So you could have Teddy Ruxpin sing the Beatles or Metallica good times. There's even a local, I've seen a theater production where they used a Teddy Ruxpin 
as a an extra actor on stage. So I said that was very clever. Um, and in here, let's see, we have T Teddy Ruxpin had all these books and tapes, um, so you could read along. So a lot of fun right there in general. Oh, and it looks like there's also just like a music cassette. So that was the height of technology in the, the early to mid 80s. So I hope you enjoyed a little tiny tour of the teddy bear collection here at the museum. Um, let me know if you have a favorite kind of bear. Mine's the well-loved kind. Um, and we'll see you soon.